yarn, fit as a fiddle fish. Here's your last patient, Peso. And how are you today? Crabby. Because, well, I'm a crab and my shell hurts. Hmm, sorry to hear that. Let's take a look. Now, don't be nervous. This X-ray viewer just lets me see inside your shell. Aha! You've got a small stone in there, Captain. May I? Oh, oh that's better. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. What's that? Young sperm whale, and he looks like he needs help. Hello, are you all right? My name is. Oh, oh, don't hurt me! Don't be scared. I'm here to help. Oh, get, get, get away! But I. Show your teeth and do your worst. We're not afraid of a little whale like you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sperm whales, we are not here to fight. We are the Octonauts. Captain, it looks like we're outnumbered. Maybe not. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts were surrounded by a pod of angry sperm whales. We've got to work out why and fast. Shellington, take a look. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. They're humongous beasts with humongous teeth. Sperm whales don't bite or use their teeth to eat. They sometimes show them to protect their young, but only when they think they're in danger. Oh, 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 Orker! Captain, young sperm whales are afraid of orcas. I don't see any orca. Hmm. Neither do I. But I wonder if. Peso? Me? <laughs> Him? Dashy, send me a picture of a. Orca? Already on it, Captain. Sperm whales, there's been a misunderstanding. Peso is not an orca. He's a penguin. You thought he was an orca? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is black and white like an orca. But he's tiny. We never had a chance for a proper hello. We are the Octonauts. I hope you're not still scared. Probably. Scary Simon is scared of everything. <laughs> Will you dive down with us this time, Simon? Oh, no! Oh. oh, they're right. I'm scared of everything. Especially diving. What's so important about diving? All sperm whales dive deep down in the ocean to find food. Except him. <laughs> I'll never learn to dive. I keep thinking, I can do it, but I can't. It's too deep. Ah, oh, it's deep and dark and scary, but that's what makes it an adventure, me hottie. Ooh. Did I say something wrong? You know, I happen to know someone who's a champion diver. You do? Who? Peso. Penguins have to learn to dive too. But when I was little, I was scared to dive, just like you. Oh, you really think you could teach me? I don't see why not, unless you still think I'm an orca. <laughs> no. This shouldn't take long, Captain. <laughs> See? It's not so bad. Just a little deeper and we'll find the rest of your pod. I can do it. I can do it. I oh, can't do it! Ah. <laughs> 
Let's try it backwards. It's not so scary this way, is it? I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I yeah. can't do it! This may take a little longer than I thought. Hmm. Quasi and I'll head back to the octopod. Radio us when you need a lift home. Good luck, matey. Simon, I've just remembered something. When I was learning to dive, there was a little trick that helped me not be afraid. Oh, what was it? Right before the dive, I would take a deep breath and then close my eyes tight. <sighs> <sighs> I can do it! I... Ah! Ah! Um, excuse me, Mr. Clam. Would you mind opening your... Ah! I can do it! I can do it! Oh! Who am I fooling? Yeah! Help! Hey, so A giant clam fell to the bottom of the sea! <gasps> This way! Simon, will you dive down to help us? I... I'm sorry. I want to help Peso, but I just can't do it. It's all right. We'll find him. <gasps> Peso's medical bag. Uh, Quasi, I think you mean clowns. Shiver me whiskers! We'll have to search shell by shell. Peso? 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 Ah! Whoa! Try the X-ray viewer. Clam. Clam. Another clam. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. This dive is for Peso. Clam, clam, peso, clam, clam, peso. Quasi. Are you all right, peso? Well, it's getting a bit cozy. <laughs> Look out! We've got to get out of here before we're all clam sandwiches. It's too heavy. We need a... Whale! What? Simon! Whoa! I did it! I did it! I dived! I knew you could do it! Yeah, that's great, but we've still got to save... Peso! Hey, look, it's Simon. Out of my way! I've got you, Peso! <laughs> but how do we get it open? Hmm. Don't worry. We've dealt with giant clams before. Ready, Quasi? Aye, Captain. <laughs> Ready. Ready, Peso? Ready. All right. When I give the command, tickle, pull, leap. Tickle. That's it. Now, pull. <laughs> leap. <laughs> Phew. Hooray! Good job, everyone. Especially you, Simon. Thanks for helping to save me. No problem. Hey, who wants to go back down? We should put the giant clam back where we found him. Oh, I can do it. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Follow me. Hey, wait for me. He can do it. He can do it.
Vegetables. about there's something out there something big really big I saw it it's huge it's white and it made a noise like Whoa. Captain look at this I managed to snap a picture of whatever's out there that's it that's what I saw what on earth could it be it's as big as a whale but whales are usually dark grayish Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be heard. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak. If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ooh, ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. Scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast, strange heat patterns are coming from that pink colored reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. And then we better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> this is no reef. Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. <laughs> what? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. 
I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're going to need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. Oh, I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino? It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh! Looks like we've got company. A school of squid! We'll go around them. At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them. What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more, and finished. Ha! <laughs> a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. Hmm. Look at these pictures coming in from Dashy. Ooh, where is she, Captain? 
She's exploring a strange underwater cave. There's some amazing stuff in here. Let's run these pictures through the computer to get a good look at the whole cave. Uh, looks like there's squid and some tropical seaweed. The cave floor's red and wiggly. Those little rocks hanging down look kind of familiar. That's because they're teeth. And the floor is a tongue. How can a cave have teeth and a tongue? Because it's not a cave peso. It's a, a whale, whale shark. shark. Dashi! Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sort of. You're not in a cave. You're in a whale shark. Get out, now. Uh-oh, closing time. My camera. Dashi, can you hear me? I'm all right, Captain. I'm... The signal can't reach her now that the mouth is shut. She's trapped inside a whale shark. <gasps> we need to get her out. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, this is a whale shark. No, Tunip, a whale shark isn't a whale. It's the biggest fish in the sea. As big as a school bus. It's so big that Dashi thought its mouth was a cave, and now she's disappeared inside it. How dare that dastardly beast swallow our mate! I'm certain he didn't do it on purpose, Quasi. The whale shark is a filter feeder. A filter feeder doesn't use his teeth for biting. He just opens his mouth and swallows whatever's there. And this whale shark swallowed Dashi. <sighs> we have to get her out. Then you'll need to take this whale shark detector. It flashes when a whale shark's near. Quasi, Peso, into the gut. Week, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That's strange. According to the map, the whale shark was right here. But I don't see him anywhere. Probably planning a sneak attack. The whale shark detector hasn't flashed once. We'd better get out and take a look around. Peso, you stay here and keep a lookout. Righto. Quasi, when we find the whale shark, here's our plan. We'll need to open its mouth to slip in and get dashy. But first, I'll confuse the beast by leaping all around like a heap of spaghetti. Meanwhile, I'll slither through your spaghetti. Captain Quasi! <gasps> Captain, behind you! It's the... <laughs> whale shark! You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashi! Dashi! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! The tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashi could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. 
Looks like it kept Dashie's hair clipping. But Dashie must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> Oh. Ah! Oh. We seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Whoa! <laughs> hey, guys. It's great to see you. Um... Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it, all the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. <laughs> oh. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside. Cat coming through. <laughs> this might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Mm. Why won't you open your mouth? Mm -mm. You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. <laughs> If we all charge and push together, we can do this. Ready? Ready! Goochy, goochy, goo! On your marks. A goochy, 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 goo! Get set! Goochy, goo! Go! Please, so, I got the whale shark to say, ah. You freed us! And you're the whale shark's tummy ache? Ah, cute little beast. Oh. Not so little. <laughs> I can't decide which of these photos I took to send into National Geographic. They're all amazing. You must send each and every one. Actually, not all of them. Ooh, you might want to skip a few. <laughs> Just a little further up, and we can dig for the secret treasure of Whitebeard the Pirate. I wonder what Whitebeard's treasure could be. 
no one knows, Captain. But Whitebeard was a fearsome pirate. I've heard that he could throw one of his legendary flying snowballs from the Arctic all the way to the tropics. Calico Jack once told me that a snowball from Whitebeard landed right on the deck of his ship and he never melted. Remarkable. Here, Captain. This be the spot. Uh, ah! We hit something. Why, there it be! Whitebeard's treasure! Now all we need is the key for that lock. Let me just find the right one. Bluebeard's treasure, Redbeard's treasure... Ah, here it is. Oh, my paws are so cold I can barely feel them. Whoa! My key! Whoa! Shiver me whiskers! Captain, a hungry sardine just gobbled up me key! That could make the sardine very sick. We've got to find her. Let's split up to cover more ground. Aye, Captain. I'm fine, Captain, but I just took a whale of a ride. What was the meaning of those bubbles you were blowing at me? Well, I can't help it if you crashed into my bubble net. Humpback whales like me make bubble nets so that we can catch a lot of food at once. We're sorry to disturb you, but uh, we're chasing after a school of sardines. Maybe you saw which way they went. No, but I'll keep an eye out. If I see them, I'll send you a signal. That's how us humpback whales communicate. Just listen for this. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Oh, there's some krill. Yummy. Hey, gotta go. And the name's Mitch. That little sardine is going to get a big tummy ache if we don't find her soon. Hi, Captain. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> We need to track down a sardine who swallowed Quasi's key. Oh no, that could make the sardine sick. I found a school of sardines in the area, Captain. Great work, Dashie. But how will we know which sardine has swallowed the key? Tweak? This x-ray viewer should do the job. Tunip, let's show him. Hide that hammer behind your back. Super, super. Very good. We'll need more than one of these X-ray viewers to find a little key in a little sardine in a great big ocean. I'm on it, Cap. Peso, meet us out here in the Guff E. Once we find the right sardine, we'll need you to perform an emergency keyectomy. On my way, Captain. Quasi, Peso, activate X-ray viewers. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. The sardines. Let's go. And now move in closer so we can look for Quasi's key. They're splitting up. You two follow that group, I'll follow the other. Aye, aye, Cap. We have to hurry. That sardine needs our help. Ow! Quasi, none of my sardines has the key, which means that one of yours does. Quasi and I are still chasing them, Captain. Quasi, are you? Quasi? 
quasi to Captain Barnacles. Do you read me? Peso, are you there? I've got to get me gut back in the water fast. Hold on, there's that humpback whale. Ahoy, Mitch! Can you hear me? Oh, maybe if I send that signal. Oh, sounds like somebody needs help. Whoa, you really do need to watch where you're going. Yeah, yeah, but right now, I need to get my cup off this iceberg. Okay, I'll tip the iceberg over for you. Ugh, too big for me to tip over by myself. Yeah. But it won't be too big for me and a couple of friends. I'll send out a signal. Yo, Mitch. You called? Hey, guys. I need some help tipping over this iceberg. Let's do it. Always enjoy a little iceberg tipping. Hold on up there. Ready, guys? One. A little more. Two. A little more. Three. Yeah. Thanks for your help. And now I've got to catch up with those sardines. We'll come along just in case you will run into any more trouble. This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No, now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys. And I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines, they're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key. I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. <laughs> hey, bitch! Could you and your mates blow a humongous bubble net to keep the sardines from getting away? Of course. Come on, fellas, bubble net. <laughs> Out of there. Quasi, on my command, I want you to grab her. Hi, Captain. Now! Don't be afraid. We're here to help with your tummy ache. I'd like some relief. Just hold still. I'm going to perform a keyectomy. Just swallow some of these bubbles, then let out a nice big burp. Like this. Uh. Oh, pardon me. <gasps> it worked! Mickey! Sorry it gave you a tummy ache. I feel much better. Thanks. Thank you, humpback whales. No problem. Always enjoy making a bubble net. We'll just be on our way now, but uh, will you look after him? He, he has a habit of uh... crashing into things. <laughs> yes, I know. Yo, oh. well, Captain, now that I've got me key back... We finally get to see what's inside Whitebeard's treasure chest. <gasps> Tis the legendary flying snowballs of Whitebeard. And look, it's a note from Whitebeard himself. It says, whoever finds this treasure is worthy to use it. Octonauts! Let's do this! Oh, Captain! Could you 
practice somewhere. Uh... Yeah. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonaut to the HQ. Octonaut, we need to. Yeah. Fascinating. That's a type of whale called an orca. Look, there's another. And another. And another. Remarkable. We've attracted an entire pod. What's a pod, Professor? It's a group of orcas, Peso. The pod helps each other through thick and thin, rather like the octonauts. We've got to bump him back. Let's talk before we bump, Quasi. <clears throat> Greetings, Orca friends. Please, do not bump our ship. <laughs> That's enough. Everyone back. I'm terribly sorry. Is your ship all right? Yes, thank you. Is his head all right? Oh, that one's hard-headed. He bumps first and asks questions later. Very brave, though. Hmm, sounds like someone I know. We're curious about your ship. We heard it make an interesting sound. Oh, you mean the Octo Alert? No, more like this. <coughs> oh, um, that, that was me. I was having trouble on my accordion. We thought it sounded quite lovely. Oh, thank you. Octonaut, who wants to go out and meet our new friends? Want to race? Ah! OK! <laughs> hey, you didn't say go! Heading straight for the beach. Oh my, that's not a good place for an orca. Maybe I can stop it before he gets there. Can have a head start next time, but I'll still win. <laughs> uh, 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 just let me get turned around here. Uh, give me a push, will you? I. Uh... Oh! Are you all right? Hi, Captain. But I can't get the orca to budge. Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me, or is it getting really hot? Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain. If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm stuck. And I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. Octonauts, the orca is stuck on the beach. Our mission is to get him back into the water. Until then, we must keep our whale friend cool and wet. I'm on my way, Captain. Tunip, if you don't mind, I could use some help from the vegimals. 
The orca is too heavy to move himself when he's on land. If the orca can't move himself, we'll have to move the orca. Tweak, we need you here as soon as possible. Right away, Cap. Hey, I hear my port calling to me. Oh no! All of the orcas are heading straight for the beach. Quasi, keep pouring. I'll be right back. Orcas, stop! Please, let us pass. We must go after our cousin. If you go too close to the beach, you'll get stuck as well. We're his pod. Members of a pod always do what they can to help each other. You can count on the Octonauts to bring him back to the pod safe and sound. But there must be something we can do to help. Well, I know it cheers him to hear your voices. Maybe you could sing to him. All right, Captain. We shall sing to him. <laughs> The orca is too heavy to move when he's out of the water. We've got to figure out a way to pull him back out into the ocean where he belongs. We're going to need rope. Lots and lots of rope. I'll contact the octopod and ask them to bring all the rope we've got. There's no time to lose. Ouch! Now, you listen here. <laughs> You don't have to hide. No one will hurt you. Mm. This beach belongs to us crabs. You and that giant thing must go, go, go! It's getting hotter and hotter. Octonauts, grab the ropes. Hmm. Ready to test, Cap. Octonauts, take your positions. On my signal. One, two, three, pull! Ow! Stop, stop! Oh, that really hurts. Captain, I don't think it's enough to pull him. Now, if we could get the ropes under him, we could lift him up. Hmm. We need a way to tunnel under the sand with the ropes. I think I know who can help us. Attention, crabs! You crabs have a special ability to tunnel under the sand. Will you use it now to help the orca? No! He got himself into this. He can't get himself out. Ah! Let me help you. There you go. Well, that was uh, really quite helpful. Thank you. So, are you with us? Okay, sideways, march! Octonauts, let's do this! One, two, three! Oh! Again! One, two, three, pull! <laughs> One, two, three, pull! Ah, it's working! Keep pulling! Captain, our pod is grateful to you and your pod. You can always count on the Octonauts to help. Remember to call on us if we can ever do anything for the Octonauts. Shall we practice our special signal? <laughs> Goodbye, Orca friends. Goodbye, Captain. Until we meet again. I can't believe we're back in these chilly waters again. It's all in the name of science, Quasi. 
Indeed, the creatures of the Arctic Zone make some fascinating sounds. And with the octopod's underwater microphone, we can record them for our collection. Ooh, what's making that sound? Oh, uh, just my tummy. I ate some of Tunip's kelp cakes for lunch with a wee bit too much hot sauce. Wait, I'm picking up something else. Listen. Sounds like walruses to me. The computer will match the sound with the animal and we'll see if you're right, Captain. Ah, walruses. Now let me guess the next one. It is a strange sound from a strange creature. And this strange creature could only be the... Herring? Yes, herring. They talk by blowing gas bubbles out of their behinds. Out of their behinds? Ooh, what's that coming from? Sounds like some kind of whale song. It is. Bowhead whales. They only live here in the Arctic, so their sounds can't be recorded anywhere else. Look. Howdy, folks. Hello, worthy octonauts. Pleased to meet you. That's an enormous head, even for a whale. The head of each bowhead whale is as big as a bus. We're not aiming to brag now, but we bowheads do have the strongest, toughest heads in the Arctic. How tough? Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Yow! And we make some pretty big sounds, too. Ready, boys? I'm getting a perfect recording of them. Bowhead whales sing all the time, while they're traveling, playing, even eating. It's how they talk to each other. It's always nice to make new friends out here on the Arctic range, but now we've got to hit the trail. It's feeding time. Come on, giddy up, partners. Bye. 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 Goodbye. 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 Yeah, what's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. No wolves, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, peso, to the launch bay. <laughs> it's coming from inside that ice tunnel. Whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there, narwhals. Are you all right? Help us, please. We are trapped in here. We can't get out. <gasps> I know that voice. Boris? Ah, Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes, until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, three narwhals are trapped under the ice and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish! Narwhals are whales and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> I found a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We're feeling very weak. Ah, 
it's caught on something. Yes, that did it. There it is. Ah, thank you. Much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's Icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Not even a crack. Let's bring in the drill. Tweak will need the Gup D. <laughs> All right, Cap. I'll have them out of there faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Novels, back away as far as you can. Drill stuck. That ice is just too thick. Everything stops spinning. Easy does it. Huh? Oh no, the breathing tube. Oh, it is no use. We're back where we started, and we will soon need air again. We're not giving up on you, Boris. Octonauts, we've tried the guts, but we need something even stronger to break through this ice, and we need it now. Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch. Good idea, but it would take too long. Hmm. How about blasting it with a sonic slicer? The ice is too thick for that. I've got an old pirate cannon under me bed, but I'm all out of cannonballs. But there were! That's it! The bowhead whales! Tough enough to smash through just about anything! Ooh, but there are. Good thinking, Tulip. Now all we have to do is find our new bowhead whale friends again. Let's call them back to the octopod by playing their songs! <laughs> Try it louder, Dashi. We don't have much time. Howdy, y'all! We need your help. Three narwhals are trapped in the ice and we can't break them free. Well, we bowheads are the greatest icebreakers in the seven seas. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, that's, that's right. right. You ready to take a ride, partner? Captain, help is on the way. Thanks, Dashie. How much longer? <laughs> Look. <laughs> That's what I call a ride. <laughs> Captain Barnacles, my dear old friend. Thanks to you and your Octonaut crew for saving us. And you two are mighty bowhead whale friends. Oh, shucks, Boris. We're nothing. Always glad to help a fellow whale in need. Yes, thank you, bowheads. It's amazing what you can do when you put your heads together. <laughs> Especially when you've got heads this big. Ain't that right, boys? Happy trails, partners! Yip, 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 yip. Bye. 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 Uh-oh. 
That doesn't sound good. Captain Barnacles, you'd better come down to the engine room. So, what's the problem, Tweak? The Octopod sounds like she needs an emergency cleanup and repair cap. If we don't get working on it right away, she'll fall apart. Octonauts, we need all hands on deck. The Octopod needs cleaning and repairing. Yeah, oh, cleaning? Captain, do you really need me to come back for just a little cleaning? Yow! What's making that scurvy noise? The octopod, Quasi. We need everyone to help get a ship shape again. Over and out. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! <laughs> what was that? A wandering whirlpool? Sorry. Huh? Uh, didn't mean to cause you any trouble. You almost sunk me gut. Um, matey, did you know you're floating upside down? I am? Oh, dear. One minute I'm swimming with my friend and the next time I'm lost and I can't find her anywhere. I I'd better flip back over. Hold on a minute. Let me just... Whoa! Shiver me whiskers! Oops. Oh, sorry. Very sorry. Oh, I'm so confused. Something's wrong with my sonar. Sonar? Sonar is my way of working out where things are. When I'm looking for something, I send out sound waves to help me find it. I'll just be on my way now. Must find my friend. We always swim together. Uh, I don't know where she is. That's one big mixed up whale. We'll have to get started on repairs to the octopod without Quasi. Tweak. Well, the arms need to be welded, the screws need to be tightened, the floors need to be vacuumed, the dents need to be banged out, the windows need to be cleaned, and the water tanks need to be flushed. And the joints need oiling. So, Octonauts, let's do this. Sounds like my friend is using her sonar to find me. Well, that's not a whale. That's the octopod. Hey, wait a minute. You don't want to go that way. My friends, this way. No, Whoa. she must be that way. Wait, wait. Oh, that sounds like my friend. Where are you? Now for the biggest job of all. The water tanks have to be flushed out and then refilled. Here we go. Oh. Do you need some help? <laughs> there you go. That's better. Thanks for the muscle, Captain. Oh dear. Now my friend sounds as if she's in trouble. I've got to help her. Don't worry. Uh, I'm on my uh, way. Uh, I think all the noise from the octopod is confusing my gigantic whale friend. Hey, big fella! Quasi to octopod! Quasi to octopod! Quasi to octopod! 
Racing to Octopod! Quasi to Octopod! Peso, there's a mixed-up whale heading straight for you! Pardon? I can't hear you! <laughs> Hold on, Quasi! Um, Captain, the radar shows that something's heading towards the octopod. Something big and fast. It looks like it's gonna hit us. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a big blue whale, Captain. A blue whale? Blue whales are the biggest animals that have ever lived, Captain. It would be a disaster if one of them hit us. Quasi, you've got to stop him. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. But all of this noise is... Um, Captain... I think we have another problem. There's something else coming towards us from the other direction. It must be the blue whale's friend. If they hit the octopod, they're going to hurt themselves and us. Hmm. Blue whales are big, but gentle. Why would they head straight for us? Oh dear, it's difficult to think with all this noise. Noise? Professor, do you think? Yes, of course. Whales use sonar, that's sound waves, to find out where they're going, to steer around rocks and to talk to each other. So our noise is messing with their sonar. The sounds we're making must be confusing the whales. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I've been trying to tell you. Attention, Octonauts! Stop working at once! We need absolute silence. Let's check the radar. Have the whales stopped? No, Captain. They're still heading straight for us. Tweak! Oh, I better stop her! Stop! You must stop! I can't watch! Tweak! Stop working! Cap, couldn't hear you. What? Shh. Huh? Oops. It's all gone quiet. Huh? Steady. Oh. Oh. <sighs> That was close. Oh, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was trying to find you, too. Wales, I'm afraid your mixed up day has been our fault. Aye, the sounds from the octopod messed with your sonar. So that's why I kept getting lost and confused. Not to worry, your noise did finally bring us both together. But in the future, I hope there are no more mix ups like this one. Next time, we'll check the radar for whales before we do any banging or clanging. Sounds like a plan, Captain. And you, you may be small. Small? Me? Only next to you. But you're a big help to us. Thank you. Yeah, Just doing me job, matey. Now, let's check that the octopod is fixed. So, it looks like I missed all the cleaning, eh, Captain? Uh, actually, we're not quite done. What? It would be a big help if you could do a little mopping. <laughs> Hold still, Puffy. Yow! Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike. But it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. Ooh, ooh. You, wow! 
one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Yeah! <coughs> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practising me sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, a bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. Mm -hmm. Oh, my spike is starting to feel better. Thanks, Peso. Off you go then, Puffy. Bye bye. <laughs> there he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just a. Um... Whale shark! Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours! Yeah! Oh no! Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts to the HQ! Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. <laughs> Rope? Check. Fish pack? Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi. You swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. <laughs> and we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny crew. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. <laughs> I'm coming oh. for you, Puffy! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this... fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Cap. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Follow that whale shark, Peso! Turbo booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's gonna do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search the gills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery time and go! <laughs> this is fun! Now what? Now it's. Story time. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taking forever. It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cuckoo! Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah! You 
You can do it, Peso. Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to... Whoa, whoa. Captain, use your polar bear strength. I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Whoa. I'm going after puppy. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Oh. Ouch! Yow! Captain, the rope! <laughs> oh. Must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy. We have to get him back into water fast. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. <laughs> You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha. to watch out for really big fish. Or keep an eye and an eye out for them. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, mateys? We are listening to the most popular song of the summer. That doesn't sound like any sea shanty I've ever heard. That's because it's a whale song, made by humpback whales. Look! Whoa! These whales are on their way to their summer feeding grounds. They use their songs to talk to each other 
and they can hear the songs even when they're miles and miles apart. And the song they're singing now has been really popular this year. All the humpbacks are singing it. It's the only song on the radio. Listen. Here. Here. And here. Humpbacks all over the world are singing the exact same song. Incredible. Let me try. Hang on, that's new. Maybe they got tired of the old song. No, I mean, it sounds different. I've never heard a voice like it before. Maybe these whales have, Dashy. Good idea, Captain. Excuse me, humpback whales. Yes? Sorry to interrupt your journey, but we just wondered if you'd ever heard a song like this before. Uh, nope, not heard that before. It doesn't even sound like a humpback. The singing doesn't match anything in the Octopod sound collection. Whatever's making that noise, there's nothing like it in the ocean. This could be an entirely new species of whale. Or an entirely new species of sea monster. Well, there's only one way to find out. Octonauts, it's time to investigate. I'm picking up something big on the tracker. Very big. It should be on the other side of this reef. Ah, there's nothing here. No, but I thought I saw something. Me too. Something big. The trick is still saying it's up ahead. Then let's go, mateys. It, it's gone again. I get the feeling it doesn't want to be disturbed. Let's go forward gently this time, so we don't scare it. Whatever it is. You hear that? It sounds so sad. Like the world's loneliest sea monster. Or the world's loneliest whale. That's a humpback whale. But his voice is like no humpback I've ever heard. I think he's looking for food. He's a young one and he looks very skinny, Captain. Then he might need our help. Activate helmets. Hello there. That's a very interesting song you're singing. Oh, thanks. It's my I'm Hungry song. My name's Joe, by the way. Are you on your own, Joe? Yep, I'm pretty much always on my own. I guess the other humpbacks kind of don't understand my singing. Captain, Joe is far from the summer feeding grounds. Without the other whales to show him the way, he won't have enough to eat. Joe, why don't you come with us to our octopod and we'll see if we can help you. I don't suppose there's any food at this here octopod. I'm kind of hungry. Absolutely. Follow us. Right behind you. Mmm, <laughs> these here fish biscuits are pretty good. Captain, I think I found the cause of Joe's unusual voice. What is it, Peso? These are the tubes inside Joe's nose. And these are the tubes inside a typical humpback's nose. See how much smaller Joe's are? Oh. Of course! Whales sing by pushing air through their nose. But because Joe's tubes are so narrow, his songs sound different. Uh-huh! So that's why the other whales can't understand me. Yow! What was that? Oh, gee. <laughs> Just my tummy rumbling. I don't suppose you have any more of those fish biscuits? Captain, Joe can't just eat fish biscuits. He needs a proper whale diet. Yeah, and the vegetables need a break. Hmm, Joe needs food and fast, so we need to get him to join a group of whales who show him to the summer feeding grounds. The last group is on its way to the feeding grounds. After they've gone, there are no more humpbacks in this part of the ocean. Then time is running out. Dashy, sound the pop to alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Joe here is hungry and all alone. If we're going to help him, we need to find a way to make the other whales understand Joe's song. I might have an idea, Cap. With a little help, I think I could build a special machine that Joe could wear that would make his voice sound like the other humpbacks. Oh, really? Oh, but won't that take a long time? I'll have it done faster. You can save a bunch of munchy, crunchy fish biscuits. 
It's our best shot. Octonauts, let's do this. Here you are, Joe. You can wear the Joe coder on your neck. Just tap it with your fan when you want to sing, and your songs will go from this... Go ahead, Joe. <coughs> ...to this! <coughs> hey! I sound like a regular humpback. Now I can... <coughs> But now Joe's gone. The loud noise frightened him. We'd better find him fast, or the other humpbacks will be gone for good. There's no time to lose. Let's go. <sighs> no sign of him, Captain. We found Joe before, so we can do it again. Peso, check the tracker and look for a big shape. Uh, I'm looking at the tracker, and it's covered in big shapes. Of course. We're surrounded by whales. We have to find Joe before they pass by on their way to the feeding ground. Maybe we could sing. I'm not sure now's the time for singing, matey. No, I mean, what if we could use the Joe coder to make me sound like Joe? Good idea. Then Joe will want to see who else sings like him. Tweak. I'll just change that and reverse this and there. That ought to do the trick. Right, Peso. Go for it. Here goes nothing. I hope you're listening, Joe. <gasps> what was that? It might be my tummy. Think I ate something funny for lunch. Keep trying, Peso. You can do it. <gasps> That's it! He's done it, Captain! Now we just have to hope Joe can hear it and wants to see who's singing his song. There aren't many whales left to pass, Captain. Soon it'll be too late. Come on, Joe. Where are you? What? That sounds like my voice. Hey, so where'd you learn to sing like that? I'll show you, Joe. Oh, it ain't gonna make that terrible noise again, is it? It's fixed, I promise. <laughs> Ooh, I can't believe it! That works! <laughs> now, that's more like it. Let's just hope someone's listening. Hey, who's that singing? What a great song! It's our pal, Joe. Oh, I love your style. We're on our way to the feeding grounds. You should come with us. Oh, gee, thanks. And thank you, Octonaut, for helping me sing my song. Listen. They're all singing your song. Now go. Good work, everyone. Joe should have no trouble finding the feeding grounds now that he's teamed up with the other humpbacks. And they really seem to like his song. It's not just Joe's friends. Humpbacks are singing it everywhere. Looks like it's catching on here, too. to you. The reef. I got knocked off of the reef. Don't worry. My name's Peso and I help any creature who's hurt or sick. May I examine you? 
Oh, so polite. I like this one. Examine away. What's going on here? <gasps> that does sound strange. We'll need to take an x-ray to see what's going on in there. Flappity flippers. There's a tiny shrimp inside you. And there's a sea star and a snail. There are all kinds of tiny creatures inside you. Of course there are. I'm a sea sponge. Oh, but I feel like there's something inside me that doesn't belong. Shellington, we need you in the sick bay right away. Oh, this is wonderful. I've never seen a finer example of commensalism. Co-whatalism? Commensalism. It means that all the little creatures inside the sponge get a safe place to live, even though the sponge doesn't get anything from them. It's not for nothing they call us sponges the hotels of the sea. And it doesn't bother you. Not at all. I've never had any problems. Oh, until today. Yes, and if the sponge isn't happy, we aren't happy. Oh. <gasps> Where are we, anyway? Yeah, nobody bothered to ask us before they yanked us off our reef and stuck us in this pan. And what's with all the poking and prodding and light shining in the eyes? Well, I well. say. This used to be a nice place to live. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. <laughs> Uh-oh, they're running out of room. We need to find places to put all these creatures fast. A room with a view. <sighs> That's the last one, Peso. Do you feel any better now that everybody's out? No. There's still something in there. What could it be? I don't know. But there's only one way to find out. We've got to take a closer look inside. Tunip, sponger scope, please. <laughs> All right. This shouldn't hurt, but you may feel a little... <laughs> tickle. Having a look in... No? See anything yet, Peso? Aha! <laughs> Shellington, what is that creature? It looks like a louse. A whale louse. <coughs> what are you looking at? No wonder I'm feeling so lousy. That thing doesn't belong inside of me. <laughs> You're telling me? He doesn't look like he's feeling very well either. Of course he isn't. Whale lice can only survive on whales, not inside sponges. Excuse me, Mr. Louse, but we need to get you out of this sponge right away. <laughs> oh, no! No way! I'm a whale louse! I ain't leaving until somebody finds me a whale to live on! Captain, the sponge won't feel better until the louse is out of her, and the louse won't feel better until he's back on a whale. Then there's only one thing to do. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ! <laughs> Octonauts, we have to find a whale for a sick whale louse. And we need to find it fast. Both the sponge and the louse are feeling worse and worse. Ah, <laughs> oh, there be plenty of whales swimming in these waters. We'll find the nearest one and give the little castaway a home to call his own. Oh, it's not that simple, Quasi. Different kinds of whale lice live on different kinds of whale. We have to work out which whale species this louse came from. I'm running a scan now. Oh, there. Looks like this louse came from a sperm whale. There's no time to lose. Octonauts, let's do this. Don't worry. We'll have this louse out of you in no time, just as soon as we find him a sperm whale. There's something big coming up. A vast. It's a whale. 
Oh, but it's a blue whale, not a sperm whale. Hmm. Keep looking, everyone. There. Nope, that's a humpback whale. I knew that. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little faint. Oh, you're feeling faint. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Hurry, Captain. They're getting worse. We're coming up on another well now. Uh, I can't tell what kind it is, Captain. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, a sperm whale! Excellent. Peso, you'd better suit up and... Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, you stay away from my baby. Oh, the whale's mother. Sperm whales will do anything to protect their young. Hang on, everyone! The mother whale's not giving up! Peso, Quasi, I'll keep her distracted. You get the louse on her. But how are we going to do that? Okay, Mr. Louse, this is it. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can make it. Oh, for goodness sake. But this is where you belong, on a sperm whale. I'm just too weak. Hurry, Peso. I don't know how long I can keep her distracted. I've run into some complications, Captain. I'm going to have to perform an emergency lousectomy. Lousectomy? Lousectomy? But I'll need my medical bag. Just tell me what you need, matey! Tweezers, Quasi. I need tweezers. <laughs> now I can't see inside you, so let me know when I'm getting close. A little... a little to the left. Steady. Oh! Too far left. Now to the right. Steady. You've almost got him. Steady. And... gotcha! Oh! Oh! Uh, hey! Hey! I'm home! How do you feel? Oh, now that I'm back on a whale, I feel great! Thanks, Doc! And what about you? I feel great! Captain, the louse is on the whale. I repeat, the louse is on the whale. Both he and Sponge are doing fine. Great work, Peso. This is fascinating. Another example of commensalism. The louse gets a home and the whale doesn't mind at all. But she does mind us being this close to her baby. We need to get out of here. Everybody ready? Ready. Ready, matey. Clear. Gotcha! It's good to be back, honey. Oh, oh, now, easy now. Come on, no shoving. And one at a time, please. Hello oh, there. Come on in now. Oh, good to see you again. Ah, home sweet home. <laughs> Look at these broken rocks. The whale must have brushed against the reef here. Hi. The louse must have fallen off when the whale knocked the sponge loose. Well, now they're both back where they belong. Healthy and happy and... Excuse me! Got room for a few more in there? Of course. As long as you're not a whale, louse, I don't mind at all. Come on, fellas. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wiggly one. <laughs> Captain, we're entering the coldest Arctic water. Now, coming up to an ice pack. Excellent, Dashy. Steady as she goes. Aye, aye, Captain. At this speed, we'll reach the North Pole before nightfall. I can't wait to meet creatures that only live in the Arctic. 
Ah, the joys of polar life. I remember being a cub. Rolling in the snow, sliding on the ice, diving into the freezing water. I really miss it. Can't wait to get out there for an icy swim. <sighs> You're giving me the chills. I need some nice hot chocolate. It's only cold if you move slowly, Quasi. Keep swimming and you'll stay warm. It's as simple as that. <sighs> In just a few minutes, we'll be out from under this ice pack. Then we can set the octopod down and... Uh-oh. What is it, Dashie? The octopod's getting so cold that my computer's frozen, Captain. I'm... I'm having trouble steering the ship. Cap, we better keep the octopod moving, or the engines will freeze and stop working. We can't let that happen, or we'll all be in... Big trouble. Dashi, activate manual steering now. Right away, Captain. Full speed ahead, Octonauts. It feels good to get my paws on the ship's steering wheel again. <sighs> We're right back on course again, Captain. Ice looks sharp. Aye, sharp enough to slice right through the octopod like butter. But the captain will steer us safely through. Yow! Giant iceberg dead ahead! Whoa! That was a close one, Quasi! <laughs> oh, the ocean deep is the life for me. Jumping off from port, sailing out to sea on the octopod, just you and me. And a million fish in the deep blue sea. Shiver me whiskers. Ice avalanche! Turn, turn, turn left! Turn right! There's nowhere to turn. We've got to stop the ship. Now. <gasps> Ten seconds till we hit the ice wall. <laughs> A fast, you mutinous, scurvy octopod! Stop! Six seconds till we hit the wall. Five. Hold on! <laughs> Three, two, oh, one. Oh. It's okay. We've stopped. I know, but you're standing on my foot. Oh, sorry. Phew, that was close, mateys. Now what, Captain? If we can't go forward, then we go back the way we came. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Captain, are we in trouble? Well, Peso, we're trapped here in the freezing cold waters of the Arctic Ocean, surrounded on all sides by ice, with no clear way to escape. So that's a yes, then. Ah, you know, these ice walls are often quite thin. It might be possible to break through one of them. Aye, let me out there in the gut B, Captain. I'll smash that ice to smithereens. Or I could add a drill to the gut D and... Uh-oh. I was afraid this might happen. What might happen, Tweak? We've stopped moving. And it's so cold that ice is clogging the engines, shutting them down. Cutting off all power to the octopod. Ah, 
No good. The ice is too thick. If only I could find a place where the ice is thin. What's that noise? Captain, look over there. Something's breaking through the ice wall. <gasps> a blast! Tis the legendary deep sea unicorn! Ha! <laughs> That's no unicorn. It's a narwhal. A narwhal? A narwhal. Fascinating. It's a very special type of whale with a spiral tusk growing from its head. They only live here in the Arctic. That tusk is actually a long tooth, very much like an elephant's. By the way, unicorns are make-believe. Narwhals, on the other hand, are quite real. I knew that. Hello, Boris. Barnacles? <laughs> what a surprise. It's good to see you, old friend. It's good to see you too. I've known Boris ever since I was a cub. Yes, he was quite something, this bear. Always a leader, even as a young cub. But what are you doing inside all this ice? Our engines have frozen. We could really use your help getting out of here, old friend. But of course. My tusk is very, very good at telling if things are warm or cold. I can lead you out of the ice and into warmer, open water. Thank you, Boris. Now, we just have to work out how to get the ship moving again. Cap, the Arctic engines are frozen solid. In that case, I'm going to need to change gups. Tweak, prepare the gup C. OK, everyone, here we go. Arr! One more time. There. Oh no! I don't believe it! Another solid wall of ice! Allow me, my friend! What's he doing? Using his tusk to feel how thick the walls are. Remarkable! Ah, as I thought, there's always one place where the ice is thinnest. <laughs> You better swim aside, old friend. Thank you, Boris. You're very welcome, old friend. Temperatures are returning to normal, sir. And the engines are starting back up. Good work, Octonauts. So, now that we're free, who'd care to join me for a nice little icy water swim? Uh, gotta go clean up the launch bay. Uh, uh, no thanks. I've got to um, polish my spyglass. Yes, uh, and I have to... Um, uh, Clean up the lab. Yes, that's it. Oh, suit yourselves. <laughs> this is the life. Oh, the ocean deep is the life for me. Shoving off from port and sailing out to sea on the octopod. Just you and me. And a million fish in the deep blue sea. <laughs> <laughs> We're all connected and ready to go, Cap. Then let's turn on the Octocam and see if it works. Barnacles to Shellington. Is the Octocam working? Yes, Captain. The picture of the hermit crab is coming in nice and clear. No one's explored this part of the ocean before. 
With this octocam, we can film the sea creatures who live here. Very good. Barnacles out. Good work, Octonauts. Let's head back to the octopod. Those tiny, skinny, black fishies. The goop probably just needs a checkup, Cap. We'll be home soon, and then you can take a look. <laughs> Thanks, Tunip. These fish biscuits are delicious. Fascinating. How many sea stars are traveling together in this group? Let's see. There's one, two, huh? <laughs> oh, come back. Captain. Something's wrong with the octocam. Let me see what I can do. It's not working. Hmm, that's strange. The octocam was working perfectly when we left. Yes, can you come on down here? There's something you've just got to see to believe. Check out these three perfectly round holes in the gut. Whoa, what could have made those holes? Uh, not what, Captain? Who? Look at this. A whole set of teeth. Strong enough to take a bite out of the gup. Hmm. First our gup was damaged, and now the octocam isn't working. This smells fishy. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's something very wrong with the octocam. We've got to get back there. I'll have those holes in the gut bay fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Shellington, see if you can work out whose teeth these are while we check on the octocam. All right, Captain. I wonder what kind of animal would leave their teeth behind like that. Don't worry. I'll get to the tooth. Uh, I mean, truth. <laughs> yeah, this is a mystery, and we've got to solve it. Quasi, Peso, into the gut with me. Not working all right. Not beeping, or whirring, or nothing. And here's why. Three holes in the rubber cable. Just like the holes in the gup. Three more holes here. And here. Hmm. Who's biting our equipment? <sighs> Captain, Quasi, I found another set of teeth. Where? Yeah. They were here just a second ago. Look! It's gone. There's nothing around but those skinny little fish. It's like someone's playing tricks on us and then disappearing. Who would do that? I know, but I wish I didn't. She's none other than the Tri-Toothed Terror. The Who-Toothed Water? The Tri-Toothed Terror, a giant sea monster with three huge sharp teeth. He sneaks up on pirate ships, bites them with his enormous teeth, <laughs> then disappears into thin air. You think the Tri-Toothed Terror could be around here, following us? Hmm, I don't think we're dealing with the Tri-Toothed Terror. Well, if it isn't the Tri-Toothed Terror that made these holes, then what was it, I ask you? <laughs> Where's that coming from? <laughs> it's a blue whale. Maybe he's seen something that could help us work this out. <laughs> Excuse me, but... <laughs> What's so funny? It's me eye patch, Crooked. <laughs> Something's tickling my blubber, but I can't tell what. I wish it would stop now. <laughs> Can you help me? It's down by my tail. <laughs> ah. We've seen these marks before. Oh, it's under my chin now. <sighs> that scurvy tried to 
terror must be nearby, but where? Oh, I've, I've got to get out of here. Hold on to me. I think the creature who gave you the giggles is the same one that's been giving us trouble. It left more of them tiny round marks in your blubber. Don't worry, Blue Whale. The Octonauts will find the troublemaker and stop him. Ah, no, nope, too big. Too small, too thin. Nope, nope, nope. <gasps> Wait a minute. There, that's it. Captain, I know whose teeth these are. Great work, Shellington. They're called cookie-cutter sharks. They dig their teeth into a whale's blubber and leave round holes, the way a cookie-cutter leaves a shape in dough or pastry. So that's why they went after the blue whale. They wanted a bite of his blubber. But why did the wee sharks attack the Octocam cables? Because they get confused and mistake soft material like rubber for blubber. Rubber for blubber. We've got to ask them to stop biting our equipment. But first, we need to catch these rubber blubber lovers, and I have an idea. Barnacles to tweak, we're going to need your help. Hey, Cap, you ordered a big rubber whale balloon? Thanks, Tweak. Let's set it up near the Octocam, and then everybody hide. I'm innocent. I wasn't even there. You took bites out of our equipment and broke it. Oh, that. Uh, look, we're, we're cookie-cutter sharks. We uh, thought your equipment was food, so we took a nibble. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. But how did you keep hiding from us? Uh, 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 You're clamming up, are you? Oh, OK, OK. We'll show you how we do it. Your bellies glow. So when we're looking at them from below, they blend in with the sunlight. And all you see are those black marks that make them look like skinny fish swimming by. So that's why nobody can see you from below. Guess we can't fool you anymore. No, no, no can't fool absolutely you. Absolutely no fooling you at all. But why did you leave your teeth in our cup? Don't you need them? Our teeth come out in whole rows like that. And grow back really quickly. But what about the teeth that disappeared? I put them down, and then they were gone. The teeth disappeared because I ate them. You ate your own teeth? That doesn't sound very healthy. Mm, it is if you're a cookie-cutter shark. Our teeth have lots of vitamins in them. So, the mystery is solved. But could you please stop nibbling on our equipment? OK, OK, but we'd really like a snack about now. Oh, Ooh, yeah, oh, I'm like really snack. hungry. Ah, I've got an idea for that. <laughs> this fish biscuit is way better than rubber. Absolutely. Ah, he's not wrong. <laughs> See, Tulip, nobody can resist a bite of your fish biscuits. <laughs> I'm a bit partial myself. You're not the only one. <laughs> You've got another. Right. Say, ah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just a little shy. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. Captain? <laughs> we love your accord.
accordion music, Captain Barnacles, and it really helps this one relax for his medical checkup. Oh, it was nothing. I hope you haven't caught a cold up here in the Arctic. Oh no, we orcas are used to the cold Arctic weather. Oh. Yes, you're one healthy orca. Thanks, Peso. Thanks, Captain. Bye. Bye, orcas. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Whew. Six orca throat exams, three fin and tail checkups, and teeth cleaning for the whole pod. What a day. Good work, Peso. But we'd better hurry back to the octopod. With these chunks of ice moving in from all directions, it could get dangerous. It's worse than I thought. Phew, that was close. Captain. I see it. Hang on, Peso. Brace yourself. Hey, so, are you okay? I think so. Are you? I'm all right, but I'm not sure the gup is. We need to get it out of this chunk of ice. <laughs> it's no use, we're stuck. What'll we do? Don't worry, we'll get out of this. Let's call the octopod. Professor Inkling, prepare to meet your match in the game of Pirate Draft. Avast! I've got you now! Ha-ha! <laughs> mm. <laughs> huh? Ah, no, it looks like I've got you, Quasi. <laughs> ah, I've been suckered. Barnacles to Quasi. Come in, Quasi. We're going to need some help out here. Sound the Octo Alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Octonauts to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, the Gup E has crashed. Peso and I are going to need some help getting back to the octopod. We'll have to hurry before the Gup E is hit by another giant chunk of ice. It could break the Gup. That's the problem. The Gup E is stuck in a giant chunk of ice. And we can't get it out. Oh. <sighs> Hang on, mateys. I'll come out in the Gup C to give you a tow. I hope you can find us, Quasi. The crash damaged our Gup Finder and we're drifting pretty quickly. Hmm. I'm seeing lots of ice chunks, but none with a gup in it. Better keep looking. Oh. Oh. I do hope Quasi can find us. Oh. It's getting bumpy. Uh-oh, we're heading straight for an iceberg. Flappity flippers. Abandon ship, Peso. Where did the guppy go? Look! Oh no. Don't worry, we just need to climb to the top and break the gup out of the iceberg. Climb to the top? Yes, we can do it. We're a team. Huh. Come on. Yes, we did. Now, the trick will be how to dig our gup out of this ice. Oh, all this moving ice is making me dizzy. I can't tell which way I'm going. Captain, come in, Captain. We've lost radio contact with the gup E, Quasi, but they should be around there. Keep looking. Oh, I've searched everywhere for them, but all I've found down here is ice, ice and more ice. What was that? It sounded like the captain's accordion music. Shiver me whiskers. It's not Captain Barnacles at all. It's the Orcas. Maybe they can help. Hey, look. 
Quasi! I heard your raucous songs. I thought it was Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles? We just left him and Peso a little while ago. Aye, but they never made it home. The Gup E crashed, and now they're lost somewhere in the ice. Oh, no, 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 dear. Don't worry, Quasi. We orcas will help you find them. Huh? Oh no! The ice is breaking in two! Peso! Jump! Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Hang on! Whoa! We've got to stay with the gum. Jump again. <laughs> oh! Peso, use me as a bridge. Yes! Gotcha! Phew. Yeah, we've looked everywhere for him down here. Hey, what about spy hopping? Spy hopping? What's that? Spy hopping is how we look around up above the water. Yeah, watch me, Quasi. Well, I'm no walker, but I'll give it the old pirate try. You did it! Well done! Thanks, matey. But there's lots of ice up there, too. Better stay with the pod, Quasi. Yeah, we orcas always stick together. Aye, let's start spy hopping! I knew you would. Aye, thanks to our orca pals here. But where's the guppy? Um, up there. It's still stuck in the ice. How are we going to get it back in the water? If only we could tip this iceberg back over again. I reckon our orca friends could help. Yeah, we love ice tipping. Ice tipping? It's what we orcas do to find food. We tip the chunks of ice over. Watch. Ready, set, tip! You orcas can do everything. Now we can get the gups home. I just hope we don't crash into another ice chunk on our way back. Orcas, you know your way around these waters. Can you guide us out of here? Of course. Hi, orcas and octonauts always stick together. And I know exactly how to make the trip a little more fun. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. Hi, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go! 